more babies may die if the state does not act fast. Overworked nurses speak out about atrocious conditions at hospitals as have led to a spate of babies that died. So nurses in the Johannesburg Hospital have warned more babies could die from poor conditions and a a deterioration of state hospitals if the government fails to address complaints lodged by health professionals. Now, obviously, what is emerging in South Africa is an interesting thing. There has been private hospitals and emerging big time, and currently there are lots of money being spent on establishing more private hospitals. And to make sure that the private hospitals actually do well, there is certain personal actions required from the doctors in South Africa. They have to deliberately not participate effectively in the state hospitals so that the state hospitals can become a threat and therefore they can make more money on the private hospital side. And this has been going on for some time. Obviously the nature of the South African doctor and the atrocities that they have done in the past speak for itself because in the past doctors when especially when black people were going to doctors in the past to be having a checkup in terms of their the females in terms of their uh, reproductive systems they would be without their knowledge be uh, sterilized to prevent them from bringing more children into the world it's quite a not well known well known thing in South Africa that has happened in where I've had personal contacts with some of the doctors that has been doing this. Now, it hasn't changed because whether the doctor is white or black, they still do the same thing. It's all about money and their personal profit, which is again showing where we have quite an increase in the deaths of babies in our hospitals. While we have enough doctors in the country, they had to import doctors from Cuba, interestingly enough a communist country, because to come and assist the capitalist South Africa in giving basic health care. Well, I was under the understanding, according to the brainwashing that was flouted and dished out in South Africa, that communism is bad. But that was where we had to look for basic health care. Healthcare in South Africa for several years now had to be propped up by doctors from Cuba, a so called unequal country and one that is a threat to the American freedom, which is fascinating. Um, I suggest one do some research. We have serious problems. We have serious problems in how principle has not become part of human nature, but personality and personal profit did become part of it so that the the, hype, the hypocritic act of the hypocrites called doctors do not support uh, life and health, they support profit and the latest BMW or Mercedes Benz and beautiful houses and stuff like that. And it is well known in our society that if you want to be rich and you can all do it to go and study as a doctor, that's how far it's been accepted as part of our way of life. And yet we do not see the deception and the abuse that is within this accepted way of life. And we simply remain in a mode of acceptance of the deaths that occur which through implication then would say that all participants in the current system that allows doctors to act in the way they do are murderers as are the doctors also murderers and this is purely based on the principle of running health care for profit as long as health care is run for profit there will be murderers walking on the streets, living in beautiful houses and driving in beautiful cars that will get get away with murder while they have lots of money in their pocket. An equal money system will stop this atrocities and the people that has been flaunting this 
must be charged with crimes against humanity. And I suggest one will be measured against what you have published and what you have stated clearly in your exposure of the abuse that has been going on in the world and those that did not act to stop this abuse will be held accountable in a new system. This must be clearly stated. There is no way out because common sense dictates that as long as your personal profit is more important than the principle of equal life to all, that you are a criminal in your giving importance to personal profit above life. And therefore you must be held accountable and this will be one of the equal life principles that will be dealt with as we purge existence from the abuse that has been allowed. Obvious common sense. So we suggest start to participate clearly, publish, speak up, show where you stand because there is no excuse for allowing the atrocities that exist in this world.